Welcome to my channel. I'm going to start off by priming my face and I use the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. It's actually one of the best ones I've tried so far. I do love the finish. It does have a light citrusy smell, um, but most importantly it has vitamin E so it definitely corrects the face which is super balm. So I'm going to go ahead and just rub that all over. So I got this Masterclass palette by Smashbox and it's actually really awesome. It has color correcting, cream contours, eyeshadows, and blushes. And I have it on $45 on Sephora.com. I got it for $65 so if you can buy it now I definitely would. It's definitely one of the best investments. And I just use that to cancel out any dark circles I have underneath. And now I'm going to be going in with my favorite drugstore foundations, the L'Oreal Infallible. I use the, both the matte and the glow because I definitely think they just add so much beautiful coverage and a nice finish. I'm also using a Real Techniques blending sponge. I think Ulta sells the combo pack that you can get two for $10, so it's definitely worth it, especially if you're on a budget. Now I'm going in with my favorite concealer, the NARS Creamy Concealer. The color is Caramel and I'm going ahead and just putting that underneath that I want some coverage. I also decided to drag it along the sides of my nose to create a natural contour because sometimes I just don't like the over contoured and powdered nose. So I just do it naturally by bringing concealer to the sides of my nose. And as you can see, when I'm blending it out, I'm bringing it to the corners of my nose to create that contour. So I was definitely being a little extra in this tutorial, so I went in with my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and I just added that on top of the NARS just to create some extra coverage and go ahead and just brighten up that section right there. This is my favorite powder to set my under eye. It's the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I know a lot of people have always talked about this, but it definitely lives up to the hype. And it's such a great, great product. It just blends so flawlessly. So I'm using that same beauty blender. It's damp, and I'm just pressing the powder into the section that I want it to set. And I'm just setting my foundation with the MAC Studio Fix powder, I believe. And this is also a great product too. Love it. This is another product that gets a lot of hype and this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm gonna admit at first I didn't like this product because it just made me look super whited out. But I found a way to work with it and I actually did fall in love with it. So I'm just using it to put on the sides of my nose. It's only going to intensify that natural contour that I want. Just creating the line with the powder. And now I'm just using a Morphe brush to take away all the excess. And I'm using my Baby Beauty Blender to go through the sides to create a more defined look. I'm just using my big Sigma fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe off all the excess. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm going to just mix the two bottom colors to create a more warmed bronze look. I'm going on my cheekbones, on the tops of my head, you know, and underneath to eliminate that double chin because can't be having that in our photos. Got to be looking flawless, you know. And 
and I'm using that warm brown color in that palette to create a light contour with the sides of my nose and I'm using a Morphe fluffy brush I'm definitely gonna blend it out because I do not like streaks the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Gel and I'm just using it to brush to set my shape of the brows that I want so it'll be easier when I go in with the brow whiz to define the shape. And remember guys, don't stress over your eyebrows. They're supposed to be cousins, they're not identical sisters. Just make sure they look symmetrical. They don't have to be 100% perfect. Now I'm going in with the brow definer in the same color ebony as the brow was, and I'm just using it to fill it in. It just makes life so much easier with this pencil. Because I want my eyes to really stand out, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes and this is definitely going to act as an awesome adhesive for the glitter shadows that I'm going to be using. Guys, if you have not got your hands on this palette, oh my goodness, it's one of my favorites if not my favorite. Hands down, Mario, you killed this palette. I'm going in with Isabel in the crease. It's so gorgeous. I should have swatched this for you, but I just, oh, I got so inspired with creating a look with this palette. By the way, I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush. Don't sleep on e.l.f., y'all. They're really good. Now I'm taking a Morphe brush in the color Violeta or Violetta, whichever you prefer, and I'm just blending that out into my outer V, I'm just making sure I'm merging that into my transition color. I want this look to be blended, seamless, perfection. And now I'm just going back in with that same e.l.f. brush and I'm just using that to blend out the look even more. I just have to show you this palette one more time because I'm a fiend for it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the color Marina and I'm just going to use my finger to just tap that onto the lid because I'm gonna be packing on more of that color a little bit later, but I just want it to secure make a nice little transition you know build it up so I wanted to make the color marina pop and I went ahead with some fix plus I sprayed a fluffy brush and now I'm just gonna pack it onto the lid a little bit even more I definitely wanted it to be a showstopper and that's such a beautiful color so I just feel like the fix plus would just make it a little bit more intense you know I'm going back in with Isabel, my transition color, and I'm just going to blend it out fully because I want it to be seamless. Now I'm using this awesome Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm going to spray some Fix Plush and go in the color with Golden Dawn, and I'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eyes just to make it pop a little bit more. As if that marina color wasn't popping enough, you know, has to be a little bit extra.
And I'm just gonna tight line my eyes with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It's so awesome. It's really pigmented too. And I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes too, you know. Going in with the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. I've been really digging this one lately. Now it's time for the scariest part because every girl knows if you mess up your liquid liner, your whole look is just completely ruined. So I went ahead and used the NYC liquid liner, started flicking out the outer corner to create that baby wing. And as I'm taking it into the center, I'm making sure that the line is evening up with the wing, making it thinner as I get to the inner part of the eye. And I'm just making sure it's all completely evened out. Yes, celebrate the small wins. <laughs> I went ahead and used my duo lash glue and these are Lily lashes in the style cans. Really, really beautiful style. Now I'm going in with Flomar blush and I'm going to use my MAC brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I wanted some light color. I just wanted some extra warmth, so I went in with my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark, and I just wanted to bronze up my face once more. Don't know how this happened, but my Becca highlighter broke, and it's the color Rose Gold, so I'm just going in and lightly highlighting my face with one of my favorite Morphe brushes. And I love light highlighter. I don't like the over glazed look. No offense to people who do, but I just want some light shimmer shimmer, you know. I wanted a little bit more precision, so I went in with a Morphe brush and I just decided to highlight the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. My highlighter wasn't really showing up on camera, so I went in with Amber Gold from the Anastasia Glow Kit, and I just wanted to double over that Becca highlighter. Not too much, but just the right amount. This is Max Spice Liner, and I just used it to line the bottom and top of my lips. Going in with a fan favorite, this is Kat Von D Lolita Liquid Lipstick. And I wanted to create a soft ombre effect, so I went in with Tarte Liquid Lipstick in the color Namaste. And this just adds a beautiful finishing touch to the look. I'm just fixing the colors a little bit more, going back with Lolita to add more depth. I'm just cleaning up any little mistakes that I have with a precision brush and a little bit of foundation. So this is the finished look. I went ahead and curled my hair off camera to just make it look fabulous. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and comment and subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I'll be posting more of these tutorials as the holidays roll by. 
feel free to rock this look at an ugly sweater party this holiday and I'll be seeing you guys soon.